Ready? All right, hi guys. Happy Friday. Um, by the way, it was my birthday yesterday. Um, all right, so we are going to do the quarantine box with you guys. Um, I'm just going to get started with the decorating. I know people were thinking about doing the live video, but I'm not going to do this live. I'm just going to get this posted as soon as I can so people can start decorating. Um, we have a special edition box. This is an off um, box. It's not our monthly box. I know in the insert this is monthly, but um, this is just an offshoot. So it's just an extra box that you guys are able to go home and decorate. Um, and not have to wait for every month just because I know that um, it's a fun activity for you guys to do. So this is our um, number one box um, that we're gonna have for April. We'll have a second box on April 16th. So right after Easter, we're gonna have that April box out. And that one's gonna be like spring, springtime theme. I might even throw in a bunny, I'm not sure. So we're still trying to organize that one. Um, and then Easter is a week away, so we have a bunch of Easter products up on the website, and yeah. But anyways, I want to go through this box. We'll get started decorating. I hope you guys are enjoying your time at home with your family and um, loved ones and just kind of enjoying this time instead of um, resenting it, if that makes sense. But anyways, all right, let's get decorating. All right, so this is our quarantine box it's gonna be fun it's a little different again um, it is not the monthly box this is not the April one but we do have two boxes this month so if you have a subscription this is not part of the subscription okay all right let's open it up and see what we've got so we have our insert okay this kind of just tells you what it comes with we actually ran out of our decorating needles and um, just because of how many boxes we had ordered last month. So because of that, we put in toothpicks. So I'm gonna be decorating with a toothpick today. So as you can tell on your list of items, it does not have a decorating needle. Um, just because we're not sure when we're be gonna be able to get those in, we do order those from um, overseas. Um, but yeah, so just a little delayed at, the, at this moment. Um, and then on the back side, tells you the storage, the drying time, and then information about our live video, which we are not doing for this box. But this is our link. You found us, so no worries there. First thing I want you to start doing, I want you to kind of start massaging their bags of color. Um, make sure that it's nice and mixed up together so that there's um, only one tone in there, not two color tones. If it's two color, that means it needs to be mixed, okay? So you don't want any darker spots. It all has to be pretty much the same color. So we're gonna mix that in. You're gonna do that with all the colors. It shouldn't, have, it shouldn't take too long just because um, we just made these um, two days ago, so. Okay. And then I'm doing this live um, at the front desk of my bakery. Um, DP Sweet Life, and we have people that are coming and picking up orders today, so um, don't mind if I shout for my mom if someone's here to pick up an order, in which case someone is here. Do you get that, mom? Yeah, someone's here. I like these bags, they're a little bit bigger. So if you've been decorating with me, I had a smaller bag, but I really like these ones. They seem like they're more durable. And just to note, I do heat seal this at the top, but that's not to prevent the frosting from popping out. That's to prevent um, it, to keep it dry and preserved, you know, while it's sitting there waiting to be um, decorated with. So with that being said, be careful of that seal. It will pop open very easily. What I recommend is that you guys go ahead and um, push the frosting down, okay? And then you twist the bag and then you can put a clamp right here or you can put a piece of tape or if that's for kids or if you're just you know just twist it a bit and then that way it prevents us from popping up um, i even have it pop up on me now and then but all right we have your thing of sprinkles so this, i ran out of one specific sprinkle so some people got some extra um sprinkles in here i left those out of here so if you got the extra sprinkles, you're lucky, but I, my sprinkles are delayed in getting to me, just like everything right now, just because of what's happening in the world. But, um, so right now we have our rainbow chocolate sprinkles at the bottom. 
Then we have this button, or a button that we're gonna use, and then this red box. Okay, cute, huh? And then let's go through our caucus. That looks so cool. Okay, it's gonna be fun. And don't mind my noises, I know. Just kind of realized I did that and kind of embarrassed myself. All right, so within our box, we have our game remote. We have a TV remote. We have a Lego head. We have a pencil, because we're gonna be doing a lot of school work from home, okay? Or writing, journaling, whatever. Legos, because we play with Legos. Video remote, because we're Netflixing and watching TV and movies and, you know, lots of TV time. And then um, game time, you know, if you are a gamer. You know, at my house, we play chess a lot. Look how fun that is. That's probably one of my favorites. All right, and then we have this one. This one's going to be just a germ. This is gonna be a soap bubble because we should be washing our hands like crazy, okay? And then this is our toilet paper roll, all right? All right, let's get started. So for those of you that are new to decorating with me, I'm gonna put these up, I have them organized by color. So those that are new to decorating with me, we're going to go through, we're gonna outline all of our cookies, okay? So we're gonna go and just outline. And then what we're gonna do is go fill it and then, you know, decorate together. Um, and you can follow along with me or you can do your own thing, whichever. Um, make sure to do the hashtag decorate with DP when you're done because I'd love to see everybody's cookies. Now, if you have a happy birthday this week, um, happy birthday to you. Um, I know that there's a few of you that um, have ordered cakes and stuff for me, so happy birthday. I hope you guys are enjoying your time at home. I know that I had my birthday yesterday from home and I had the most wonderful day. So um, you can still enjoy it, even being quarantined. All right, push the frosting down. Let me show you how to cut the bags. Make sure they're all nice and mixed. If it comes out runny, it means that you didn't mix it well enough. So what, if you've already cut the bag, you pinch to the tip and then you just kind of mix it some more, okay? So push it down. I'm just preparing here and I'm gonna cut my bag. Just a very little tip, okay? You don't need much cut off. I'm gonna just push some of it out of there because it seems like it. Got a little bit of water up there. Just a little bit, you don't need much, okay? Go to do that with all your bags. Have a towel nearby you, a pair of scissors so you can cut your bags. Okay. Let's see, last one. All right, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited for these cookies. Hopefully you enjoy this as much as I do. Okay, first things first, let's do, let's do our remote control. That's probably gonna be the easiest to outline. Okay, grab your gray. And you're just gonna outline it completely around. And I kind of just let my frosting fall and just falls into place, okay? Just like that. Okay, then you set it aside. Um, let's do our bubble. I'm gonna outline it, our soap bubble, okay? We're gonna outline it with the blue. And depending, I don't think we'll have enough white. I wanted to do something with this with white, but um, we'll see. We're gonna have to do that paper towel roll first. Okay, just a blue outline like that for your toilet paper. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I'm not sick, I promise. And I just sneezed into my elbow. I know you couldn't see it. My hands just in case okay I always feel guilty now sneezing or coughing or anything in public because you know people look at you like uh, do you have the COVID you know all right so we're gonna go do this on the top and then we're gonna bring this down all 
just like that, okay? That's gonna be our toilet paper roll. Move it over. Let's do, let's do a pencil. The pencil is gonna have a few different steps on with it, okay? I know I'm going fast, so go ahead and pause, please, if you feel like it's too fast for you. You can pause, catch up, redo it. The best part about recording it. I'm gonna leave a little tip there. And I don't know what color should I do, the eraser blue? Probably, huh? Draw that on there just like this. I don't know about you guys, but my allergies have been just crazy. And now with all this COVID stuff, it's like, oh, is it allergies or something else? All right, then I'm gonna just put a little tip on here of gray, okay? We'll fill that in in a minute. Go ahead and set that aside. We have our germ, okay? This guy's gonna be so cute. So pretty much you can do whatever you want with this shape. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it look like this. Okay, just kind of make it squirrely, whirly, whatever. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just gonna look like a germ. All right, then we have our chest piece. Our chest piece we're gonna do in white. And just outline it all the way around. We love playing chess at my house. It always brings tears, though. I don't know about you guys, but whenever we play games as a family, kids start crying because they lost, okay? As you can tell, the cookie's kind of curved. Whatever, just embrace the curve, okay? All right. This guy, outline him in yellow. Okay, and then set it aside. Okay, with this one, you know, we could get pretty creative, but I don't know. Let's just outline it. Leave the buttons at the top open. Okay. And you also fill this in up here. All right, set that one aside and let's start flooding. Okay, so let's flood the remote first. Then you can cut your tips a little bit bigger, but be careful because like I have some plans to do with this flat or with the gray. Okay, and you just kind of fill in, and you can leave some spots open. That's what our toothpick is gonna to be for. Um, it's gonna help us fill in those spots, okay? We still have to use this for another remote, so you don't wanna use it all on one, so make sure you save some for the next one, okay? Then you take your toothpick. Oh, I don't know, oh, there it is. Okay, and I'm gonna use a toothpick just like you guys. And you're just gonna swirl it around so you can get it in the spots that need to be filled. Okay. Let's fill, fill, fill. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Gotta move kinda quick so it doesn't dry on you. Okay. Once you get it all set, I'm gonna shake it. And then you also tap it a little.
Okay. Now, with this one, you're gonna wanna put on buttons. So I'm gonna just put buttons right here and there's, you know, three across. One, two, three. And just kind of do that all the way for three rows, I believe. Four, sorry. It's like one of those old school remotes. Um, yeah, we don't own these ones anymore. We we have Roku. It's all, all from our devices now. Um, okay, and then the other thing I had planned was putting like this guy up here. So it looks like a little turn on button. And then at the bottom, sometimes they have different color buttons. So I'm gonna put red, um, green, yellow, and blue. Okay. And then um, if you want, you can put like a couple more things up here, I don't know. Just make it look cute. Okay. All right, so there's the remote to start. And if you have the edible markers, because sometimes um, I think some of you might have my edible marker still, once this dries, so tomorrow, you can go and write you know, some stuff on there. Um, the only thing, we're, oh, there's the arrow. That could be for volume. I'll put one more on there. That could be your channel changer. And then the green. Oh. The green could be your volume, right? Because you need a volume and something. And I just dropped this guy in here. So if I could get him out gracefully. I can. Okay. Now, if you're skilled enough, too, you can take your toothpick and you could put it like a different color. So, say blue, and you could write one, two, three. So, you could do that if you want. Okay. All right. There's our remote. Now, let's do, let's do our germ. Okay. I'm just going to fill them up. And cut my bag just a tiny bit bigger just because I want that to come out just a little bit quicker. Okay, take your toothpick, make sure it's clean, and you're going to just spread it around. <clears throat> okay, now. You can leave it messy looking because it's kind of cute like that. Um, or do that. Now, I'm going to put little yellow dots on it so it looks like it's sick. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am right now. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can see some more um, cookie videos that come out. I do cake tutorials. I'm actually going to start using my YouTube channel a little bit more just because um, I think um, that's more accessible than the Facebook ones because usually Facebook, um, some people just don't have Facebook. So I'm going to add some eyes on here. Okay, and in your jar of sprinkles, you have two black balls. You might have more, but you have little eyes, so you can put it on the guy. Just like that. Okay. And then if you want, you could draw in a little, little mouth for him. 
Okay, there's the germ. How cute is he? Well, I don't know if he's cute. He's causing a lot of havoc lately. All right, toilet paper. Let's do that one next. And fill it in with white. It's funny because this is actually supposed to be um, like a tray of cookies, not a toilet paper roll. But I was like, this is the perfect shape for a toilet paper roll. So I went with it. I think it's going to turn out pretty cute. Okay, clean off your tip. Actually, I'm just going to use the other side for now. Grab my towel, wipe off my hands. All right, fill in that white with any of the gaps you might have. You want to save that white because you are going to be using it for your chest piece. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit and then I'll add, fill this in and then we'll add one more thing on there for it. Okay, but this is your toilet paper. Okay, let's fill in our chest piece. Since we're working with the white right now. bag. <clears throat> Getting that off. Okay. All right. Take your toothpick, fill in the gaps. All right, there's that chest piece. We're gonna set him aside. Let's fill in some parts of our pencil. So let's start with the tip of the, this part. it down. We're going to fill in the yellow part. Enough your toothpick. Go ahead and fill it in. Might even leave that tip there open or clean. With that. I may not fill it with the white. Okay. What I might do too is draw on just a few lines down here. Like one, two, three. Okay. That's it. We're going to fill in this. So I did it, did it like that. If you don't do it like that, you might run out of your gray. You don't want to run out quite yet. I'm just going to spread it around. Now, is this a PlayStation remote? I think it's PlayStation. Don't laugh for those of you that know what this is. We just don't have a PlayStation, okay? I think it's PlayStation. 
since I'm not doing this live, I can't ask you guys. You guys are usually quiet anyways. Don't respond as it is. Message me in the comments of my YouTube video and tell me if it's play if it's a PlayStation remote. I think it is. Okay. Okay, as soon as you get all the spots pretty much in together, we're gonna give this a good shake. Try to put it on there quite thin. Just because I know we're about to run out of it, which is crazy. I just kind of pop those air bubbles. And then you're gonna shake it one more time. Be careful not to break it. That's good enough. All right. You know, I know there's like certain colors you're supposed to do, but I don't know. I'm just gonna put little dots on here like this. I know that I think there's blue down here. I think what I'm gonna do is just do opposite colors here. I know that I think the bottom's supposed to be blue. But we're not. We're not supposed to, you know, do it exactly like that. I'm going to add little yellow things up here. I know you might have a little gray, but I'm saving my gray. That's why I didn't end up using it. Okay, and then also, um, let's put little, I think, I don't know. I'm just going to put white. There. And then down here, I think there's some things that go on too. There. I think that's close enough to a little game controller, don't you think? If you want, you can pull your frosting out so it kind of fills in those cracks. Okay. All right. That's your remote, and you can use some sprinkles on that too if you want. I don't really have many much plans for the sprinkles, but you can even put it on your germ. Let's fill up this face with yellow. Wipe off your toothpick. Good. All right. Who likes to play Legos? I know once I get started, I can't stop. Just like with the puzzle. It's so addicting to me. All right. I have to see what a Lego head looks like. Lego. Okay, so there's this. So with this one, we're gonna do I'm just gonna give him a smiley face. If you need to, you can help have your toothpick help you with that part. And then we're just gonna give him a smiley. Then I might draw in some things for at the end. When I'm done, I might add some more detail to that guy. Okay? Set that aside. 
Then we have our bubble. Okay, and I am gonna cut the tip of this a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna fill this in. There's a lot of frosting in there, so make sure to squeeze it all out. Okay. All right, make sure your toothpick is clean. Wipe it off. You take it. Yeah, so guys, when you open up your box of cookies, make sure you find that toothpick that's in there. It's just in there in the bottom of it, okay? So this is just like, a, just a bubble, a set of a bubble. I don't like how that was looking there. Okay. So if you, have, if you accidentally touch it or something, just touch them and they should fall back down. Just kind of pull it, and pull it down like that if you touch it. Usually it falls in. Oh, someone's here, Mom. I got this. I got this. <clears throat> okay, so it's supposed to look like a bubble. What do you think? Does it look like a bubble? All right, toilet paper. Okay. And then you have your toilet paper that hangs down like this. Okay. And then you could give them little eyes. And then give them a little smile. And then add little lights in his eyes. Just like, just kind of like that. Cute toilet paper. I'm gonna leave these empty because it just looks like cardboard. Okay? All right. Cool. And then we're gonna add and this one, we have some gray to add in. Okay. And then the chest piece. Just thought it'd be cute to kind of outline it a little bit with the white. Just kind of go through. this little guy up here. I'm just going to kind of outline it a little. Sometimes the cookies, especially when they're all white like this, like better when you outline them. Also want to outline my Lego head. Just 
I'm taking the yellow. Then also add a little bit of whites in his eyes as well. Looks like better that way. Okay. And then the last thing is our pencil. Add in that little bit of green or the gray again. Okay. Now if you want, you can fill in the top here. I think I'm gonna leave mine blank. Um, you should have enough white left, but I kind of like it without it. Um, yeah, so that's our quarantine box. Hopefully I didn't move too fast. I know I'll get this done in about, I don't know, 30 minutes, which is, I think, record time. So anyways, here's our pieces. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as I really had a kick out of it. Um, there's our toilet paper with our chest piece our game remote, remote control, our sudsy bubble, and our little germ, which that one's my favorite. Okay, so anyways, I hope you had a great time decorating. I don't know how I got blue right there, but it happened. Um, that's not supposed to be there. All right, anyways, happy decorating, and we'll see you guys soon. How cute. Show me yours, don't forget. Hashtag decorate with DP. All right, see you soon guys.